so now in this video we will set the navigator to the home page ok and one more thing guys I forgot to tell you that we have already created the home screen in the previous videos ok as you guys can see in here the home screen ok so now simply in here we will open that and let me show you right in there it's totally an empty page ok home screen so there will be black screen ok and there will be nothing for now but later on you will create a beautiful UI in this in the upcoming videos ok so now let's close that from here and in here we will set the navigator ok remove that comment from here ok and now we will say navigator dot push displacement there will be context and now we will set the root ok it's going to be material page root and in here we will remove that and now right in the boulder we will simply set it to home screen right in here ok all good semicolon at the end as you guys can see ok and now we will simply right in here cut the process ok and run it from start again run render dot click on it so this will take some time just wait for a while it's fine right here ok and guys let me show you one more thing just simply again cut the process and run it from start ok this time we will take this down and let's wait for it ok in here you guys will see a text welcome to photo sharing ok clone app as you guys can see in here ok and if you remember we set this right in the mandal dot right in here ok as you guys can see in here so this fine now we will simply in here we set the navigator right in the sign up input or dot ok as you guys can see in here now simply we will go and uh, sign up a new user ok so in here click on this create account in here let us go upload the profile in here we will go with this one this time ok you can also crop it there we go ok with the profile now we will give this name as Zen click ok and we will enter his email we are going to enter the fake email just for the testing purposes ok you guys can use your own original email ok so in here I'll say Zen Malik ok and then we will say 980 at the red gmail dot com you guys can see in here ok enter the password and right after enter the phone number ok it's fine right in here now simply if I click on this create account so the 
account will be created for the Zen Malik OK and will be uploaded to the Firebase OK and the profile image will be right in the Firebase storage and their name, email, phone number will be stored right inside the Firebase file store OK, the database and whenever I click on this create account they will navigate to a home screen OK which is basically a totally empty screen as I told you before in here as you guys can see OK home screen we said that and it's totally empty screen okay so that's fine let's go and create account for this Zen Malik so click in here create account as you guys can see in here okay now we are on the home screen and it's totally empty screen black okay so it's working totally fine and now we will go back to the firebase and check it there if the data of this user is uploaded or not ok so open the browser and search for firebase console ok in here as you guys can see search for firebase console ok all good open that in here and in here click on this get started ok and let me tell you guys we have already created our app to the Firebase OK. If you remember, the name was for that is photo sharing clone app. OK, we already created that one. So open that, click on it, and in here, now we will simply go towards the storage first to see the profile image is uploaded or not for the Zion Malik. OK, so in here, let's go click on the storage and see. In here, user images. Okay, open it. In here, that second one. Okay, let's open that. As you guys can see, in here, it's totally working fine. Okay, picture of Zayn Malik. And that one was for the Peter Parker, if you remember. Okay, in the previous video, so it's working totally fine. And now, let's go back to the fire store database and see data their name email phone number okay etc let's go and click on this users are inside the collection and their document this is for Peter Parker as you guys can see and that second one is totally for Zayn Malik as you guys can see it's totally working fine okay as you guys can see the time created at email Zain Malik 9 at 0 and their ID name phone number and this is the URL for the Zain Malik ok download URL you can simply copy there from here control A copy it and then control C close it and open the new tape in here paste it ok press enter there we go it's totally working fine okay now we will go towards the authentication let me show in there their gmails okay the user we created right in here the first one is peter parker one two three at the red gmail dot com okay as you guys can see their user uid sign in date okay created totally working fine here and there is Zain Malik ok everything is totally working fine and in here you guys can also add the user manually ok just click on that in here put the email and their password and then click on this add user ok you can simply add this but we will not do that ok and write in the Firestore database in here you guys can start a collection manually from here you guys can enter the collection ID right in here and then click next ok but we will not do that ok and all the working is done and it's totally working fine ok so let's go back to the Android studio now right in here we are on the home screen ok on this so right after click on this run mando dot start the app from the start there we go now we are on the login page let's go back to the create account 
in here now right down below this create button right in here we will check the account okay if the user have already an account then in there we will show a, a small button for the login screen so that will go back to the login screen and login from there okay so right in here let's work for the account check okay and if you guys remember we have already created that account check right in here as you guys can see okay that one in which now we will simply say we will set the login to false because we want to show this already have an account right on the create account okay so it will be right down in here so we will force the login and it's gonna be right then on the create account this text okay the else will run and right after in here also the login will be false and this line of text will be right in here right on the create account so let's go and close that account check okay close that and right in here you will simply say account check there we go we're gonna tell this for now you will add it one by one okay and uh, the comma first right in there as I told you you will set the login to false because you want to show this text right on the create account right in here on this screen okay so we will set this to false and in here the press even okay now in there we will simply navigate the user navigator there we go or you can simply copy that navigator from here just for turn 7 copy it and in here paste it okay we will do one change right in this navigator we will change this to login screen okay there we go all working fine okay so that's fine right in here and now we will simply come here and click on this run man dot dot okay and let's see the output now we are on the login page let's go back to our create account as you guys can see right in here I already have an account and now if I click on this we will go towards the login page okay so click on this login and there we go now we are on the login page okay so it's working totally fine and you guys can see the output right in here okay okay now you guys can simply create account for a different kind of user right in here upload their profile and then click on this create account whenever you guys click on this create account it will take you to the home screen as i told you before it will be totally empty screen okay we will work on that right in the upcoming videos okay and if the user already have an account he or she can click in here and go to login page and login from here okay and now let's login right in here the account we created now in here we will login from here let's say we want to login by the account of Zen Malik okay so in here we will say Zen Malik and it was 980 gmail.com okay and the password was this one let's go and click on this login it will simply take us to the home screen okay and it's gonna be totally empty screen okay let's go and click on this there we go it's working totally fine also from the login screen okay so it's fine right in here click on this one main dot dot and now in the next video we will start working right on the forget password okay and now if i click on this forget password there will be just an empty screen there we go okay now in the next video we will work start on the forget password okay 
so let's run mando dot in here from the next video we will start work on the forget password so that's it for this video see you in the next one